Hello everybody, welcome to Vigilant Citizen. My name is Josh. Happy Independence Day, my favorite holiday of the year, tied closely with Christmas. And today I wanted to do something special just by having old glory up here and up here and also right here with a copy of the Constitution of the United States and the Declaration of Independence. You can see that the angle of my camera is a little bit different. In the previous video, uh, you may recall that my tripod just sort of gave out and now it's not propping anything up, except for it is propping up my camera, um, just because it's leaning against it now, but it can't hold it, can't hold it straight. I don't know, I just need to get a new one. So until that time, you're stuck with seeing me at this angle and not getting to see all the traffic behind me. So maybe it's a blessing on top of a curse. Uh, the dogs are out here, it is really warm. So they're just trying to stay cool. I've also got my dad's dog Murphy here, but he is just staying in the shade. So I need to make this quick so that they don't drop from uh, heat exhaustion. Uh, I wanted to add a corollary to one of my previous videos about, um, what is that? I just got a notification, sorry. Um, about not swearing because there were a couple things that I didn't mention there. And um, I think it's important to be precise in your speech. Uh, this is something Jordan Peterson talks about, especially in his book, 12 Rules for Life. He has a whole chapter dedicated on it. But when I say be precise in your speech, um, when I say it, I mean use the right words for the right time and the right terminology and the right situation that you find yourself in because it will cut down on miscommunication and you'll get your point across much more clearly. We've been over that. But also, when I say don't swear, I mean that includes words like crap or fudge or things like that because those words can be used as a catch-all and they're not being precise you're not getting your actual message across and I did want to uh, read from <laughs> those people who have come before us and have been very precise in their speech in the past so I wanted to read a passage from the Declaration of Independence that I thought was uh, very precise got right to the point and it's, I mean, this whole document is very precise. It outlines all the reasons for uh, declaring independence against uh, England and the king there. Um, but I thought this, I reread this yesterday, and I thought this passage was, uh, was fairly precise. Um, let's see. Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. And accordingly, all experience hath shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty, to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies, and such is now the necessity which constrains them to alter their former systems of government. The history of the present King of Brit Great Britain is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having in direct object the establishment of an absolute tyranny over these states. To prove this, let facts be submitted to a candid world. And then obviously they go through all of the different abuses and usurpations um, that the King of England has has foisted upon the colonies. Um, let's see, there was, I thought there was one in here that I wanted to uh, point out because, oh, I, this one. He has erected a multitude of new offices and sent hither swarms of officers to harass our people and eat out their substance. Man, I love that one. I can't think of a uh, better parallel to today with all the alphabet agencies in the federal government. That's neither here nor there. I'm not here to talk about politics, just about being precise in your speech and how important it is. Because if these men hadn't laid out exactly what the problem was, um, the world may have considered them uh, rebellious insurrectionist losers who weren't worth uh, uh, helping. It, where, uh, whereas the French came and helped us, and, and if it wasn't for writing it in such a colloq... Uh, um, such a very straight manner they may not have have done it so it's very important to get your words right be precise in your speech don't use curse words because they they make your speech less communicable 
and more likely for misinterpretation and it just clutters it up. So choose your words carefully, expand your vocabulary as needed and you can do this by reading, we've talked about that, uh, go read a lot and try orating a bit more. You may find yourself in meetings and speak up more often. When you first start doing it, you'll find that you're probably stuttering over words, like I have been in this video a little bit, because I'm still not uh, a, a fantastic orator by any means. But the more I'm doing this, the more I'm getting better at finding the right words for the right occasion. So uh, really look for those opportunities to use those words to flex your vocabulary and stretch it because it's it's like any other muscle um, if you don't use it you'll lose it so uh, I'm gonna leave it at that part of understanding um, being precise in your speech is knowing when to quit and it is hot out here um, and I've got a barbecue to go to so once again happy Independence Day God bless America God bless all of you thank you all so much for for spending this time with me and listening to me blabber on as usual and read it from one of my favorite documents in the entire world um, second only maybe to the Bible so uh, thank you all um, have a great Independence Day and stay vigilant we'll see you on the other side